Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Race Face Drive in 5 here on RaceFace.tv. As always, I'm Jacob Seelman, joined once again for the month of May with Miss Cassidy Hines, who you, you got a couple weeks off at the start of the month, and then uh, I know you were excited to get back to your home track, Colorado National Speedway, for some racing here the last couple weeks. Before we get into how you did, just what is the atmosphere like for you when you get to go home to Colorado National and, and race there compared to some of the other places that you race throughout the year? Yeah, that's my favorite topic, actually, about Colorado National Speedway. Um, it's just so, the dynamic there is just so different than other tracks. We have amazing fans, first of all. They are, like, the best fans ever. Um, they never fail to lighten up your mood if you had a bad race day um and it is honestly the only track that i've ever been to where the fans can come back into the pits and meet the drivers after the races that's fun and so it's just like a whole different dynamic there um i get to meet new people and i get to see fans like the same fans every weekend i have um like 10 fans that will come and see me every weekend and they're like we came this weekend just to see you and I'm like oh thank you so much you know um and they just they never fail to make your mood better when you have a bad race day which is always a good thing we always enjoy seeing them and we always enjoy hearing what they have to say about the races it's nice when you can build that fan base and have have that consistency isn't it yes absolutely because like I'll be walking through the grandstands if like I have to go meet some people or if we have um, signings in the grandstands and people will be like, oh my God, that's Cassidy Hines. I'm like, how do you know me? But then I forget, <laughs> like they, they come back in the pits and they mm -hmm. meet me and they see my car. And, and so then they just, pay attention. Yes. And then they're like, oh my God, that's her. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome that you guys can recognize me from my suit and not just my car. I love to hear that. Uh, you know, that's what every racer wants. So positives yes. there. I know opening day was a couple of weeks ago, started off with a uh, top 10 and eighth, and just one of those where I, I feel like opening day, everybody came out of the box and that was a really competitive feature from what I understand. Yeah, everybody was leaning hard. Um, it was honestly a shock. I was surprised to see that everybody was leaning on each other so hard. We came out of the race unscathed. We didn't have like any donuts or anything on the car, which I'm surprised about because everybody was racing so hard. Um, I don't know what it is about like the opening night for the racers that gets everybody so outgoing with each other i i guess that's the right word um, well i i was gonna say you know? with opening day being <laughs> so late in may which for those who don't know about colorado that's largely because it can snow up into march and april but i i, I imagine it for those who can't do what you do and go out to race at places like tucson and and other tracks with the late model if they're having to wait till may everybody's pretty antsy at that point yeah yeah um everybody's like i'm ready to race i'm ready to race their adrenaline is really high mm -hmm. um it's just it's still just shocking like because we want to put on a good show for the first race day right we want to we want to make it entertaining um it's just kind of shocking sometimes to see how everybody reacts on the first race day sure. like because the emotions are so high and everything they they want to put on a good show so absolutely but yeah was yeah. <laughs> and I know this past weekend you had twin features, which I know you I know you like the twin feature format because you get more racing for your buck on a single night. Um, and I do know two more top tens, eighth and ninth. But I know you guys have been trying to find the right balance with the race car, too. Yeah, we've been struggling. Um, something's going on with it. We're not really sure what yet. We've gone through everything. We're trying to find out if there's just like a little tiny mistake or if there's something else going on with the car itself. Um, we got new tires for this season. So instead of like F50s, 30, 35, 40, 45s, instead of those tires with Hoosier, we are on the ST1s and ST2s, which have a, they're a softer tire. Um, and 
it's just, it's hard. We don't really know if it's tire related or if it's car related. So we're trying to go through and figure out what's going on because we're tired of these eighth and ninth place finishes, even though it is only the second race of the season. We, we don't want to be an eighth and ninth. We want to be a first, second, third. We don't, you know, we want to be competitive. I was going to say running top five and challenging for wins. Exactly. Exactly. And this last weekend we were able to lead some laps, but then we had a caution and it messed with us. The tires just, they didn't hold on the same. They got hot. They got slimy. The car got tight. I went from first to ninth and we just, we couldn't do anything about it. The car just would not stay where it was supposed to. So we, um, we're, we're trying to get it figured out so that we can get out of these eighth and ninth place finishes and right. up into the top five. <laughs> so Real quick, for those who may not understand kind of what the different tire compounds are, you mentioned the new tires for this year. How are they different from the compounds that you were running last year? Softer, harder? You know, what direction did they go? Yeah, so these tires are softer, um, which I have never been able to feel the difference in tires that drastic. And with these tires, I was able to feel it instantly. They oh. are softer on the softer on the um, asphalt. They um, are a little smoother mm-hmm. when it comes to driving around the track. They're less bumpy, less, um, I guess you could say, chattery. Um, but they wear in different, too. For qualifying, if we go out on stickers, they wear in completely different than the other tires they come in faster they come in um stronger almost faster and like i guess faster in sense of tire and faster in sense of speed right Um, and then they fall off a lot more though too yes yes and they get tight everybody's been struggling with tight and for whatever reason we just can't seem to get it loosened up enough to get it to not be tight towards the race and we're just we're finding that fall off and we can't figure out what's going on. Well, the good news for you is the month of June is coming and I know is going to give you some more opportunities to work on it. What's your schedule look like for June? Um, For right now, I think we only have like three races in June, um, which is still a lot considering there's only like four weeks in June. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, one week in Tucson, which we're actually okay. leaving tomorrow. And um, then two races at Colorado National Speedway. Awesome. Awesome. So this first weekend in June is when you're going back to Tucson? Yep. All right. Hey, I know the last time you were there, you put it in victory lane. So here's hoping that we can make that happen again, right? Yes. Yes. We are holding on to that energy. We want all the positive energy. (laughs) <laughs> Absolutely. Real quick before we uh, finish up here, um, I know school is done for the summer for you. Anything fun happening off the track or are we getting into the period where there's enough racing going on that that's kind of got your time right now? So I'm one of those college students that um, has to be an overachiever and take <laughs> summer classes. Oh, so there you I'm, go. Taking three, I'm taking three summer classes. So, um, But racing will take up 90% of my time and for 10% sure. of that time will be school. <laughs> Oh, goodness. And remind every, remind everybody what you're studying, just so they have kind of an idea. Yeah, I'm studying nutrition and dietetics, and I'm um, ma- minoring in psychology, and I'm hoping to get my fluency certification in American Sign Language. That's fantastic. And th- I, I can speak for, for a lot of people, just knowing some people that, uh, that signed in the past when I was growing up, that there, there's not enough people with that skill in the world. So definitely something that's really cool. And I know on the nutrition side, that'll help you behind the wheel of the race car as well. Oh, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And it's so interesting, all of it and how it affects your body. Absolutely. All right, Cassidy. Well, we'll wrap this one up. Thank you as always. And we'll wish you the best of luck at Tucson and Colorado National here coming up. Thank you. That's Cassidy Hines. My name is Jacob Seelman. This has been another Race Face Drive in 5, and we'll see you next time here on RaceFace.tv.